Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing, flying, and reviewing the Newbie Drone Hummingbird version 2 ELRS. I've had the old version 1 Hummingbird for about two years now and everything has held up really good. The motors, the flight controller, the VTX, and the camera are all original parts. Obviously I've replaced props, the frame, and the canopy quite a few times because I'm pretty strenuous and I break a lot of things when I'm flying, but this thing has held up for me great and that's what I'm hoping out of the version 2. I'm hoping for the same reliability that I got out of my version 1, which is still flyable and flies great. I'm hoping to get the same reliability out of the version 2. One of the coolest things about the Hummingbird version 2 is a built-in ELRX receiver that is pretty awesome to have that in a whoop. On the version 1, they did have a built-in RX, however it was FR Sky. And while FR Sky is very popular, the RX in the Hummingbird version 1 wasn't the best. A lot of people said it failed. I didn't have that issue because I ran mine with the TBS Nano RX and I always ran it on that so I never had an issue with my receiver failing because I never used the built-in one. However, it is really cool that they switched it up with the version 2 and I'm hoping that the built-in receiver on the version 2, the ELRX, is a lot more reliable than what I heard about on the FR Sky receiver built into the version 1. Another great thing about the version 2 Hummingbird, which I'm going by what Newbie Drone is saying, is that it is pre-tuned and ready to go out of the box and I trust it is that way. One thing that I hate the most is tuning. I've been flying for 6 going on 7 years but I still hate tuning. I've never enjoyed it so I'm very happy to not have to get this thing out and tune it right away before you can rip this thing. Enough talking in front of the camera. Let's go ahead and get the version 2 Hummingbird out of the box. I have had this out already and I've been flying it quite a bit. So if it looks used, it is used. That's because I've been using it. I couldn't wait to get it out in front of the camera. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Just like the Hummingbird one, pretty much packaged the same exact way. But let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. Doesn't that look cool? I love their color scheme that they have going there. ELRS is not the only upgrade on this Hummingbird version 2 compared to the version 1. Pretty much everything on this thing is new compared to the version 1. The motors are the Unibel style 18,000 kV gold edition motor. Another cool little thing that they did is right here where the VTX antenna sticks out. They have this little rubber like grommet there. A little grommet like that keeps your antenna from maybe getting in your props or coming unhooked or something like that. Just keeps it nice and secure there. On the version 2 Hummingbird we do have the all new version 3 BI camera and the built in 25 milliwatt VTX. Another nice thing with this Hummingbird ELRX version 2 is the RX or the receiver antenna right here coming up. That is actually plugged in right in there. I don't know if you can see that, but that is plugged in on the version one. The FR Sky antennas were only just soldered on. And so if you broke those, if you did anything with those antennas, you were pretty much out of luck and your board was probably most likely junk unless you wanted to solder on an external RX. So really nice that they made that just a plug-in instead of just being soldered directly onto the board. So if this does get chopped or anything like that, you can just plug in another antenna and you're ready to go. One other thing I did want to mention on this thing, you are going to get the PH2 connector. I already switched mine out. I definitely would recommend switching that plug-in out just because the PH2 is quite a pain and probably every 50 packs you put through the Hummingbird, you're gonna to wanna to switch that little connector out. It just doesn't perform like it should. Enough talking with this thing on the bench. I think it's time to get this thing up in the air. Let's get it.
The version 2 Hummingbird did fly amazing and I'm actually so happy with how it flew that I purchased the second one. However, did it fly any better than the version 1? I think that's a question to answer in a future video. I don't know that it did fly better, but the video was definitely better on the version 2. I don't know if it's due to the new camera VTX, but it definitely was better, less breakup. However, for some reason on this one, my OSD was breaking in and out constantly. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm sure Newbie Drone will come up with an update on that, a new firmware to flash so the OSD isn't breaking in and out constantly. I definitely would recommend this version 2 Hummingbird. I think it's going to be a very reliable whoop, just like the version 1. However, I've only flown it for a couple days, so I'm not sure on the long-term reliability. But I definitely would recommend this thing if you want a great, ready-to-fly whoop right out of the box. I trust you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions or anything like that, definitely leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. One other thing, I did have to buy the Radio Master Zorro to make this video, so there will be some videos coming on this thing in the future. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.